Good evening, friends. How are you? I know that you're all snuggled up right now, ready to read a bedtime story. I'm so excited because when you wake up in the morning, that means you'll be on your way to first grade. So, what I want you to do really quick before we read this story is I want you to think about how you are feeling right now, thinking about that tomorrow you're going to wake up and come in a first grade classroom. Are you kind of happy? Are you a little bit sad that summer's over with? It's okay to be sad that summer's over with. It's fine because I guess, guess what? Tomorrow you're not going to feel that sadness. All you're going to feel is happiness because you are going to have the best day ever in here. Okay? This classroom is going to be your um, place to learn and grow and just have a fun time um, in first grade this year. So. This is, Ms. Reynolds is actually sitting on our carpet to read the story because this is where we're going to do a lot of our um, reading. I love reading stories to you guys, so I hope that you enjoy this story as well. So let's go ahead and start reading this story. You ready? The Night Before First Grade by Natasha Wing. The Night Before First Grade by Natasha Wing. "'Twas the night before first grade. I kissed my dog Clover. School starting tomorrow because summer is over." Into my backpack with markers and pens. I hung my new outfit. It matched my new friend Jen's. Hmm, I'm thinking that's it kind of sounds like what we might be doing before we go to bed, right? We get our book bags ready. We get our supplies ready for the first day of school. I spoke not a word and went straight to the shelf and filled up my lunchbox. I made lunch by myself. Wow, some of you may be packing your lunchbox tonight or you might just be excited because you're going to go through the lunch line in the morning. We'll see. Or in the afternoon. We'll see. I can't wait to see Jenny, I told my big brother. I hope that our desks are right next to each other. How many of you know a friend that might be in your class? That night I was nestled all snug in my bed while visions of jungle gyms danced in my head. The next day at breakfast, Dad made such a fuss. What a big girl you are to be taking the bus. Now some of us might have read the might be riding the bus in the morning, or we might be doing something else. Hurry, Penny, said Mom as it turned down our street. Over here, shouted Jenny. I saved you a seat. How do you think she's feeling now that she gets to see Jenny? At school, kindergartners stood outside in the hall. They all looked so young. Were we ever that small? I don't know. You might have been. I wasn't here to see. While they clung to their parents, we hugged Miss Sunrise. You two grow so tall, she said with surprise. Ding, 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 rang the school bell. We made such a clatter as we raced to our classroom. Now, should we make a clatter when we come in? We're going to be excited, but let's not do a clatter, okay? Then Jen said, what's the matter? Why do you think Jen might be saying, what's the matter? Let's look at her face. Why might Jen be saying, what's the matter? Hmm. The principal told us that some changes were made. We have some new students, so we split the first grade. Hi, Penny, said my teacher. You're in here with me. But yipes, Jenny wasn't. She was in room 33. So why are you, yeah, we can look at their faces and tell they're kind of surprised, right? They might now be a little bit nervous because they thought they were gonna be in the same class, right? We waved goodbye, we waved goodbye sadly and said, see you later. I had to be brave because I'm a first grader. So even though something might not go the way you thought on the first day of first grade, you still can be brave and see like our fifth girl. Soon we sat in a circle and we said our name. Then we played 20 questions and I won the game. So see how she's feeling here? How does she look like she's feeling now? Yeah, she's having a good time, isn't she? Mr. Barr is so funny, he tells jokes and he juggles, and our class pet's so cute, it's a bunny named Snuggles. Oh, I knew most of the kids except just a few, so I went and said hi to a girl who was new. Wow. That was kind of her to go say hey to the new girl that was new, right? Now, we might have some new friends in here that you've ne never met before, but you can still go up to them. We're still going to make them feel welcome, right? Right, because we're a family in here, so we're all going to be starting over new in first grade, so even if they're new to our school, we still are going to make them feel welcome. We sat side by side and made pictures with noodles. We laughed when we saw we both made noodle poodles. 
We both have pet turtles and love turquoise blue, and pistachio ice cream is her favorite too. I can't wait till you meet my best friend at lunch. I just know that you'll both like each other a bunch. The lunchroom was buzzing so busy and loud. We sat down at the table. Was Jen in this crowd? When what to my wondering eyes there in line was Jen with a new friend who looked just like mine. Their eyes, how they twinkled behind matching frames. They had curly pigtails and they had rhyming names. I'm Tina. I'm Nina. What do you think they might be? If they look a lot alike, they have matching names. What do you think they might be? They look a lot alike. They have matching, or their names rhyme. Let's see. Our new friends were twins, and the schools just began. I know first grade will be twice as much fun. So, first grade's gonna be way better than you ever expected. It's gonna be way better than I expected. I'm so glad that you guys are in my classroom. We're gonna be a big family in here. We're gonna talk more about that tomorrow. So I need you to snuggle in tight, and I need you to go to sleep so that we can have so much fun tomorrow. Good night, guys. I can't wait to see you in the morning.